Hi there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Today I have card number three for you for my Encouraging Cards series. And when, as I've said before, my goal is to make at least one Encouraging Card a week and then send that card out to someone I know who needs it. So today I am going to finally use that all to new Hug Me Fox stamp, or well, it's called Hug Me, but I'm calling this card the Hug Me Fox card. So I'm, I'm excited to finally get to use that. And I actually had a really hard time deciding which stamp to use. So I'm sure you're going to see plenty more cards using this adorable little fox, especially the one with the balloons. I can imagine stamping that one out and coloring out his little balloons in all different colors. So I chose to use the, the giant Hug Me. And I'm gonna stamp that image onto some Nina Solar White cardstock with my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. Both are Copic friendly. And because I've never used this stamp before, I'm just rubbing my hand across the stamp kind of to get some of the oils on there and condition that stamp just a little bit to hold that ink a little bit better. And I've put it in my um, Mini Misty so that I can re-stamp it and I'm gonna stamp it twice just to make sure that ink is nice and crisp. So now I'm gonna move on to the Copic coloring. I'm gonna put the caps on the side there for you. And I am going to start off by coloring the little fox with an orange color. And as you can tell, I'm kind of being uh, careful going around the black lines. It's because I realize I probably should have heat set this. So that's what I'm doing right now. I want to make sure that ink is good and, and set. So that way when I use those Copics, it doesn't drag the ink across. So now I have got him good and, and, and dry. And I'm going to just color him very simply, as a matter of fact. There's only two parts on there that actually need color. The orange color of him, which I used, started off with the YR12, and now I'm moving on to the YR18. And as you can tell, those are pretty far on the spectrum. So it looks kind of like a hot mess right now, but I will find, or I'll show you a technique you can use to kind of uh, aid that if you don't have a lot of markers. And because I dried that first layer, because I did his head first and then I dried it, you can see it's not blending super well. So I will take my YR12 and I'm just gonna kind of touch it to the tip of my YR18. And that is how you can kind of get a little transfer of color. And it's not gonna hurt your marker at all. It will just bring a little bit of that color over to your YR12 or whatever color you happen to be using. And then as you color it out, it'll you'll go back to use your original color. And now I'm gonna, after I add a little bit more highlight, or sh d shadow, not highlight, shadow, I'm gonna move on to using some green colors for his little bandana. You could probably even color him like he's wearing an outfit if you wanted to, I suppose, but I stuck with the orange. I thought he looked really cute with the orange. And now I'm using the G43 for his bandana and G46. And as you can see, those are pretty close on the the, the spectrum, so they blend pretty nicely. So, as I told you, very simple Copic coloring. And now I'll grab the die that coordinates with this Hug Me, All To Do Hug Me set, and I'm just gonna tape that in place with some washi tape. And he's too big to run through my Sizzix Sidekick, so I'm gonna run that through my Big Shot off screen. And I also, off screen, use my wonky heart die on a piece of Nina White cardstock. And by this time, I've trimmed down a piece of the cute Lawn Fawn Perfectly Plaid Rainbow paper to fit onto my top folding card base that I cut from Nina Desert Storm. And that plaid paper, I have cut down to four inches by five and a half inches. And I've stamped a sentiment onto a strip of yellow cardstock and gave it a flag banner. To assemble my card, I'm going to go ahead and use some liquid glue. I'm, I'm debating. I thought about using tape and then I decided, no, I'm gonna do some liquid glue because I want this to be adhered very well to my card base because I'm going to add foam tape to my heart and that can get a little bit heavy and I didn't want that to pull on my, my, my panel there. So once I've got that down, I will put foam tape all over the back of my heart, but you're gonna see a lot more of those wonky hearts. And I don't know what my problem is, I'm having a time uh, making sure things are on straight and even, but thankfully I haven't pushed, I didn't push anything down by that time. So I could easily pick it up and put it where I needed it. And I'll use liquid glue to adhere the hug me and the fox. And you can hear my cat in the background. He's trapped in the room with me. Uh, and I'm gonna grab some Darice 
foam strips for my sentiment. They're very thin, which is really nice, and so you don't have to cut those down, and they work really nicely for thin, uh, thin sentiments like this. So I'm going to adhere that as well. Like I told you, having a hard time making sure things are straight. <laughs> And I thought that might be it, and then I thought, I saw this scrap on the side of my desk, and I thought, you know what, let's put that on the inside of the card, just to, to add a little something. So I will add that with some tape runner. I will trim off the excess, and that's going to finish off my card. So if you liked this card, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything else. And as always, thank you for stopping by.